Hey everybody, uh, <clears throat> it is March 1st and uh, I've been trying each month to, uh, or every you know, four to six weeks to come back to you guys with uh, a, an update. And uh, um, as we've done throughout this entire um, pandemic, we've, we've really worked hard to try to stay ahead of our communication, be as transparent as possible with all of you. And uh, this month is really exciting. We get an opportunity to, um, you know, spend some uh, less time focusing on all these restrictions and more time focusing on your fitness and our community. And uh, so we're really excited. And um, I wanted to let you guys know of just kind of what's what to expect as uh, as we've been moving uh, forward through all of this. Um, our metrics are looking good. The, the positivity rate is dropping uh, and more and more people continue to get vaccinated, not only our own clients, but just our community at large. And so uh, those are all good, positive things for the gym. Uh, that being said, I want to kind of give you guys just a rundown of what's still going on and uh, things that you can look forward to uh, over the coming months. So uh, first of all, we just want to make sure that we always make this statement. If you uh, have any COVID-19 symptoms, you're not feeling well, um, or you could potentially have the risk of have been exposed to someone who may be positive, uh, we just ask that you stay home and, and opt for online training. Uh, we've had clients that have been very respectful of these wishes and um, we've done a great job doing that. The other piece of this is that uh, right now, masks are not required while you work out. Um, but we would recommend them at any other time while you're in the facility. Uh, that includes just even coming in and out of the facility, uh, wearing that mask during that time is totally okay. Um, and, uh, and at any time, if you happen to be speaking or, or talking with some other folks and, and that six feet of social distance isn't quite uh, doable, uh, we ask that you wear those masks uh, while you're doing that. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we also ask that you wear a mask at any time you're in a non-training appointment. So that would be like your consults or nutrition evaluations, um, personal training evaluations, things like that, uh, your goal reviews. We ask that you guys wear those masks during those appointments. Our staff will continue to wear masks for right now. That is something that uh, is a safety measure that we're taking not only to protect you, but to also protect our staff. Um, we're big believers in the fact that like if our staff starts going down, it gets very difficult for us to do our job for you. So um, in addition to that, uh, talk about sanitizing. So we've always uh, asked you to sanitize uh, or wash your hands prior to entering the training space. And we are encouraging you to continue to do that, please. Please wash your hands when you come into the facility. Um, use the sanitizer there. Use uh, the hand washing station right there. Um, and then that way we just kind of know you're sanitized and ready to go, um, at least from the touch points. Uh, social distancing is still being enforced. Uh, it is still required that we maintain uh, spacing between your workout stations, uh, maintaining our squares, uh, and maintaining your own personal equipment. No sharing of equipment other than for those that are in the same household. So um, those are still uh, required there. Liquid chalk is still the only allotted chalk uh, product in the facility. No powdered chalk, no blocks of chalk, no buckets of chalk. So the liquid chalk is available. Please know that I'm not trying to monopoli monopolize any uh, the, you know revenue or anything else like that. If you wanna go buy your liquid chalk somewhere else, you can, but we do have that available for you. Um, in the facility, it's got an alcohol base to it, uh, so we know it helps to sanitize as well. So those that's the only allowed uh, liquid or allowed chalk substance in the gym right now. Doesn't have to be our liquid chalk, but just no, um, no powdered chalk right now. Uh, open gym access. So our open gym access, the requirements there are uh, still as they stay. So uh, we put in a restriction on open gym to only allow those who are paying for additional accessory per personal accessory programs. Um, you know, they pay a little extra for that programming and for that time in the gym. And uh, we have to regulate that a to a certain amount because one, they have to be done by reservation only, and two, uh, we need to make sure that we're allotting for enough space in our facility to be able to spread out. That includes personal training, accessory training, as well as our group classes. Our group classes can consume up to 15 spots in the gym, and so therefore, we have to make sure that we're allotting for that space for our classes um, currently. Uh, also, cleaning and sanitizing of our equipment is always stay, is all staying the same. So, um, for, except for a couple of caveats, and I'll explain those in a second. But uh, using the wipes, cleaning off your dumbbells, your plates, your barbells, all of that stuff should still stay business as usual. We are a clean gym. We were a clean gym before this. We are going to continue to be an even cleaner gym after all of this. One thing that we're going to minimize or decrease and modify a little bit is our. Um, our spraying of all of the uh, additional equipment like the plates, 
um, and the floors. And so those plates and floors, we're just gonna decrease the frequency at which those are cleaned. We still encourage you to wipe down your plates with your sanitizing wipes. Um, and then we are going to be spraying the floors at the end of each training day, not necessarily in between classes. Um, that is just something that, that we've figured out over the time that we've kind of been monitoring, you know, surface contact and that sort of stuff. And, and we believe that we're able to start to kind of decrease some of that, uh, some of those, those additional sprays. We're still going to be spraying down and cleaning the high touch point areas in the gym. Uh, Open airflow, we are gonna to continue to try to maintain open airflow as much as possible. We are getting into warmer months in the gym. Uh, I will use the example that I had a group in my 5.30 a.m. class a couple weeks ago that asked me to open the doors. It was eight degrees outside. So um, obviously you guys have acclimated well to the change in temperatures, uh, but our goal is honestly to keep that open airflow. That model is uh, has been proven to decrease the um, the particle transmission in the air. And so uh, we just appreciate you guys. We're gonna try to keep you as comfortable as possible. We, we appreciate you being as respectful as possible to keep everyone safe in the facility and minimize that transmission within our facility. And so we are gonna continue to try to keep that open airflow. Uh, your coaches will be taking care of that for you guys, but uh, we'll also try to do our best to keep you comfortable. But if it's a little chilly outside, probably dress a little warm in the gym because those doors are probably coming open at some point. Uh, Pre-registration, we still require pre-registration at least 30 minutes prior to your class time. Uh, that is something that allows us a couple things. Number one, it's been a benefit to actually know who's coming to our classes ahead of time and it's allowed our staff to be better prepared. Um, this is something that was new to, to us during COVID and it's something that we've really liked to be able to work on modifications, uh, class plans, scaling and, uh, and injury adjustments for someone if we know they're coming in. Uh, that's extremely helpful for our staff. We do pay attention to those, those classes and uh, that's something that is continuing to maintain. Plus we have to still maintain contact tracing. We ask that you enroll at least 30 minutes prior to your class. We also ask that you unenroll if you can't attend within one hour of that class and so that way that person that may be on a wait list or wants to jump in can get in there within that 30 minute window so one hour before if you're trying to unenroll 30 minutes before if you're trying to enroll in those classes please help us out with that um, in addition to that uh, just some things to look forward to so um, I know I've just told you all the things that we're still doing and, and maybe that seems a little discouraging. I hope it seems like there's a light at the end of this tunnel, but here's some things that we get to look forward to that some more stuff will be coming out for. Uh, number one, Bring a Friend Saturdays are gonna come back soon. So we're excited about that. We get to bring that, uh, do the Bring a Friend Saturdays back again. Uh, number two is uh, we're gonna have an updated class schedule coming out for quarter number two. So look forward to seeing what that looks like come April. Uh, and then the last thing is we are getting closer and closer to being able to host our big, nice fun community events but we want to do it in a safe way and so um, those are things that we get to look forward to those are things that we are that are not off the table um, that we don't have any interest to do and we do uh, but we want to do it safely and effectively my biggest encouragement and we talked to the staff this afternoon uh, during our staff call is you know as your bubble begins to to get a little larger um, you get a little bit more comfortable to go out in public and you get a little bit more comfortable to spend time with friends and family still remember that uh, we're not out of this just yet. And so uh, we just ask that you are smart and you're responsible in your actions and that you you bring that responsibility with you back to the gym. And so um, we continue to thank you guys for all of the efforts that you've put forth for us um, and, and the respect that you've given not only us and our staff, but also the, the your community, our, our people in our community. Um, that is not going notice. So we're so thankful for you guys. Thank you for allowing us to continue to be a part of your fitness. And uh, we're really looking forward to 2021 and continuing on. So um, this is it. Hopefully uh, we, we don't have to give you an update until come, come April, but keep looking down the pipeline. Sign up for the CrossFit Open. Make sure you get the, the sign up done this week. We're having our draft on Thursday the 4th, and we look forward to having our first of many to come uh, community events with our gym. So thanks, guys. Have a great day. See ya.